welcome. This is a automatic lights tutorial for Minecraft uh, off of Ethos Lab uh, video that I just saw earlier today. I uh, added automatic lights to my world. This is a welcome station on my server, and uh, this is where you spawn. And as you can see, when it gets dark, lights come on. And uh, to change it over to uh, daytime here in a moment to show you how they retract, turn off, uh, and this is all based upon uh, light sensitivity. This has, uh, and it will work automatic whether or not you're there or not. As you can see now it's daytime. It takes a few moments for the system to work. I'll explain that in a tutorial in just a few moments um, but this is awesome uh, I was so I was so excited when I saw this uh, I know you can tell from my voice um, but uh, I think that this will change uh, some of the gameplay as you can see they're retracted and this is the mechanism behind here it's that little pool of water so I'll go through here in a moment first I need to take care of this pest problem uh, and enjoy the tutorial and do the links as you see fit okay this is a tutorial for a light sensitive device that will activate your city lights. This is my, again, my welcome center. Um, tore up now. I have lights out here that are set to rise up when uh, the moon comes out, basically. And they follow a simple I'm sure there's much better ways of doing this, but red circuit logic is not my expertise, but they follow these powered redstones that turn on and off to move the power up to ultimately turn on the piston, which will push the glowstone up and comes back. There's some on-off switches here which when there's power on one part it turns off another part I had to do a few of those just to get the everything to time out correctly and this is another corner set up and another and then in the middle okay I'm back I got these four uh, center pieces here that are also set up to pop up when the sun comes down in a moment we'll see that the sun is coming up and that the now it's not always just right when the sun comes up what has to happen here and it's better explained in ethos tutorial which I've linked in the uh, down below is that the grass ah it's changing and you see they all went back down into their position just to give a quick this water that is in here is senses when the changes in the surrounding blocks occur uh, the two that we're looking at is these two blocks here. When they change, um, basically the change is when the grass grows or starts dying, then that relays a piston, which causes this circuit to activate. And that's uh, called a bud. Again, Ethos explains this way better than I'll be able to comes over into this circuit which I built directly off of his tutorial 
and uh, basically powers up or turns off this area based upon whether or not there's grass growing or dying. If it's growing, the power is off. If it's dying, the power is on. That power then comes over here, down this wall here, and then it heads off into the lighting system, which I've already described, <coughs> which then makes the lights either go on or off. This here is part of my entrance center um, in which you can head down to a rail system uh, and then coming back up there's a pressure pad you stand up here it never quite worked right it was supposed to also have bricks in this area but I could never quite get them to work um, it would do it sometimes and then other times not so I just ended up leaving it like this this however seems to be working just fine Again, it doesn't take up a whole lot of area. I was able to build it inside uh, the door mechanism, which is over in this area here, uh, without conflicts. And so now, in the nighttime, the welcome center lights up. And again, I'll put the links to the other webs. Uh, to the other uh, YouTube channels that will show how to build this mechanism. But I thought it was so awesome I had to go <laughs> and build one myself and uh, made this little video. Uh, thank you. Uh, like and subscribe.